What's up, YouTube fam? Back with another video today. Um, I just uploaded one yesterday, and I'm gonna upload another one today or whenever this goes up. Um, yeah, I see I got a different turban on today, and I kind of did it better than I did yesterday because the other one was looking kind of rough and it was looking kind of bad, but whatever. Um, this video today is gonna be for AM incoming for. This is about to storm outside. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, this video is for incoming A&M freshmen. And if you guys don't know me, my name is Deontay. And um, this is my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm a fourth year student at Alabama Agriculture Mechanical University. Uh, I'm a telecommunications major and I'm a marketing minor. And... I can say the three years that I've been at A&M, I really love it. Um, sometimes I want to kick and scream, but I mean, that's the way of life because life, that's the way of life. Because life isn't going to be handed to you easily, so you're going to have to work hard for what you want, especially for us African Americans because life is already a struggle for us and we have to make it out and we have to make a way by ourselves. So, the first thing I have for you guys is to tell you that when you get to school, you need to network. That's like the basically main thing you need to do while you're at school because if you network and you find somebody that's going to be in a huge company one day, they can hire you and have your job. Easy, simple as that. Um, there's different organizations that you could join at Alabama A&M. Um, you have the band. Um, that's the biggest organization that you can join on campus is the band. I've been in the band for three years and I'm finna in my fourth well I'm finna begin my fourth year, my last year in band. And I love it. Sometimes. <laughs> but you know, if you got a scholarship then you need to work hard and you need to keep your scholarship by any means, whether it's academic, um athletic, band Whatever. You need to keep it. Um, okay, other organization you have, Man Up, that's for guys, for you guys. Um, SGA, um, Collegiate 100, that's for guys also. You have House Arrest 2 Championship Dance Team Incorporated. Um, Alima, that's a contemporary dance um, team. Um, you have VBB, that stands for Voluptuous Bulldog Beauties. Um, you have the biology club, art club, sociology club, psychology club. Uh, you can join the gospel choir. Oh, uh, you can also get a university choir scholarship too, by the way. Um, you don't get a scholarship for being in gospel choir, but it is a great experience. I was in gospel choir for a little while, but I didn't stay. Uh, yeah. Uh, we have a pep squad. I really advise if you're not gonna do anything this fall, please please join the pep squad because we need more at Alabama A&M I feel like our crowd is kind of bougie they don't chill they don't clap and do all this stuff so I feel like we need that section in the football stand that's gone constantly cheer and uplift our football team and band and JROTC not JROTC ROTC excuse me um yeah so I very recommend joining that Okay, you have War Modeling Troop. Um, it's a modeling troop. Uh, you have the Communication Arts Club. Uh, surprisingly, I just started communications last year um, as my major. I had changed it from elementary education because I didn't want to do it anymore. So, uh, I think I'm going to join that club this coming up year. Uh, you have the Interresidential Housing Council. Um, that's like working with the dorms and stuff. Um, you have trendsetters. Um, you really don't see that much of them, but they are there. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for organizations that you can join as a freshman. Now, when you become a sophomore, there are social group um, organizations that you can join. You have my organization, you have Sigma Tai Epsilon Professional Fraternity Incorporated, uh, Roll Chapter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You have Alpha Phi Omega, um, they're just community service organization. You have Phi Beta Lambda, Ada Kappa Tau, 
that is for social Greeks. And we have music Greeks. We have Kappa Kappa Psi fraternity. We have Tau Beta Sigma. We have Sigma Alpha Iota. Um, there's another music Greek, but they are not on campus right now. They are Phi Mu Alpha. I'm not sure when they're going to return, but in the near future, hopefully. Sigma Tau Epsilon Professional Fraternity Incorporated. It is um, abbreviated STE, of course. It stands for Science, Technology, and Education. That's the main. We accept any major. By any means, we accept any major. Um, but that's our main focus, science, technology, and education. We provide service to those departments at Alabama A&M. Um, Alpha Phi Omega, that's overall, all community service. Uh, Phi Beta Lambda, that's your business, marketing, um, accounting, all those. But they accept any major also. Um, you also have Ada Capital. They are the engineering, basically engineering. Um, so yeah, you have to be mathematics, engineering, computer science majors only to get into that organization. But you have to be, you have to have 31 credits or more to get in those organizations. The next thing I have to talk about is with school supplies. Like, you know how in high school you bring all these school supplies? I recommend just bringing some tablets with the little folder pockets or just bring a binder uh, with some dividers in it. Um, pens, pencils, highlighters. Don't bring any of those extra stuff. Like, if your teacher asks you to get note cards, then yeah, go get some note cards, something like that. But I don't recommend getting all the extra necessity stuff, unnecessary things, because one, you can save money that can go towards books. And another thing with the book situation, don't go buy books out of AM bookstore because, first of all, they are expensive and they are going to charge you a lot for books. I recommend going on Chick, Amazon, you can rent off of that for cheap, just return the books because they're going to charge you for the whole book. And we have an on -cam uh, off-campus bookstore, it's down the street um, at Oakwood, on uh, Oakwood University. But I heard that I think it's closed or something, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, don't bring all those school supplies because you can save money. Okay, let's talk about the meal plans at our school. Okay, as a freshman, you're staying on campus, you have a meal plan, you eat 21 meals per week, so that's three meals a day. You got, well actually, not three meals a day on weekends because they only serve twice a day on Saturday and Sunday. But anyway, every HBCU has fried chicken, a fried chicken day. At Alabama A&M, we have two days. We have two cafeterias. On campus, we have one at Foster Complex and we have one at Night Complex. Um, on Tuesday at Night Complex, that is the fried chicken day. And on Wednesday, fried chicken day is at Foster Complex. Um, also, you have fried fish every Friday and it's at both um, calves. Um, on your student card, on your uh, student ID, um, you have some called Bulldog Books and they give you like $150 per semester or it depends on who you are I guess you get $200 um, you can use it at the pod which is provisions on demand you can use it at Subway you can use it at the wellness center to get like smoothies water chips snacks and stuff like that and you can use it at the library I think yeah the library we have different events like we try to keep um, campus popping. Um, we have every Sunday and Wednesday on Wednesdays, like from the time 12 to 2, so 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. We have a D, they have a DJ cell, they, you have the organizations strolling. I mean, it's just like socializing with your friends, just meeting people, talking, it's just, just to have a good time. Um, of course, you know, homecoming week, we do a lot during homecoming. I haven't really experienced homecoming for real, for real myself because I've been in band and we be at practice, so I really haven't experienced that. Let me see, what else we do? We have spring week, which is basically, um, I think every year it's the week after spring break. 
And it's like another homecoming, just not homecoming. It's like a whole bunch of events, have a concert, like homecoming, everything. The main thing that I have to tell you guys is go to class. Like, going to class is the main thing and the main focus that you should have going to school because you came to get your degree. I mean, it's okay to have fun, but you need to get your degree and you need to graduate because it's not going to be easy out in the world for you. Um, if your teachers see that you are trying, then they're going to help you out. Like, they're going to help you out regardless. Um, like, for instance, let's say you have a 78. If they see that you've been coming to class, they can run it up to an 80. But if they haven't seen you and all you do is try to do online work and you don't want to come to class, then they're not going to help you at all. Point blank, period. So there's no point of begging, crying, all that stuff because it's up to you. It's on you. And last thing I have to say is make sure at the end of every semester, make sure you do um, get your PIN number for your classes on time. Go see your advisor on time so you don't have to get in those long lines to get a PIN number. Do your housing application at the end of each year on time because I'm speaking from experience. That's why I'm letting y'all know to not make these mistakes because I had to travel to Huntsville had to travel three and a half hours just to get a PIN number for the pack for between soft, freshman year and sophomore year I had to go up there then I had well I didn't have to go last summer but I had to go for summer I don't know but that's all I have for you guys for today I actually had made a video last summer 10 tips for college incoming college freshmen um it'll be right here or right here I don't know I don't yeah it'll be up there so you can click on that link if you want to go watch that um but i hope you enjoy your experience on the hill and we are ready to have you in our bulldog family and we hope that you love it just as much as i do and i'll see you on august the 10th peace out